This is why we're here, the wettest July in recent memory. With fields this wet, using heavy equipment is out of the question. So Andrew asked if we could broadcast sow his next oilseed rape crop into his wheat a couple of weeks before harvest. With the field mapped and the 50 litre granule hopper filled, we were ready to get to work. In this six hectare field, we were sowing at a rate of 10 kilos of seed per hectare or four kilos per acre. So we knew we'd need to refill two thirds of the way through. The idea with under sowing into a standing crop is that the seeds are able to germinate in the warm, moist conditions at the foot of the crop and are protected as they germinate. Then, when the combine comes in to harvest your wheat, your crop of oilseed rape is already well established and hopefully has had a chance to grow away from the threat of cabbage stem flea beetle attack. When the drone senses that the hopper is almost empty, it automatically returns to its takeoff point for a quick pit stop. As you can see, the hopper isn't quite empty, it always leaves enough to cover the two screw feeders so that there are no missed patches in the field. Then it's a quick refill with seed, a fresh pair of batteries, and the drone is ready to head back to the exact point where it left off. Flying at 12 meters per second or 43 kilometers per hour, the big XAG drone made short work of this six hectare field. 25 minutes after taking off, the job was complete without any crop damage, no big ruts, and without using any diesel. I'll update you in a week or so with a germination update. The, the prills here, here, yeah. Can you see them there, Andrew? I can. Good coverage here, Rob. 